Hello everyone, this is Can Nui Vietnamese macaroni soup and in this video I along with my son Matthew will show you how to make it. This soup is ideal for college students, for all the students out there, stay tuned. Hi, uh, we're gonna make Can Nui. Um, Can Nui. Can Nui. Vietnamese it's Can Nui. Alrighty. <laughs> What's in English? Uh, in English, what is it? It's just soup, elbow noodle soup thing. Yes, it's, it it's pasta noodle soup, yes. Okay. So we got a carrot, and then we got shiitake mushrooms, and then we got onions, and then we got garlic and garbanzo beans. I think it's beef, right mom? That's, uh, you can use beef or ground pork. I have leftover ground pork, that's a quarter of a pound. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we're using, but mm -hmm. in... Um, so are we going to start just... Uh, yeah, just start chopping the vegetable, crush that. Go ahead and heat up the pan while you're doing that because by the time you're done, that pan should be hot and ready to go. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Heat up the oil. Go ahead and oil the pan. You don't want to throw in the garlic yet. I would throw in the uh, mushroom mm -hmm. and the um, the carrots first because the garlic, since you crush it finely, it's gonna burn pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and do the mushroom. The mushroom, so I would how, how do we get the mushrooms? just um, cut it any way you want. Um, I would just say a little bit smaller than that. So when you're in college, Matthew, yeah. um, these are the more expensive mushroom. Yeah. So just buy a cheaper version Am of I, mushroom. Uh, what's that vegetable called again? I don't know. I can't think of it. Um, oh, come on, aren't you a cook? I am a cook, but you're putting me on the spot right now. I'm trying to tell you that if you don't have mushroom at home when you're in college, because you know you can when you go to the store just buy. Um, a bag of frozen vegetable that you like. So do I cut this? Uh, go ahead and chop the carrots next because you're gonna put the carrots in there. Carrots in the pan and then toss around so it won't go ahead and shake the, the pan. Go ahead and salt and pepper the um, the vegetable. There's a spoon right there. Okay, that's good. Move the vegetable to the side and then put in the ground pork. You wanna, might want to oil that spot. And then put the ground. Yeah, just, yes. Go ahead and, um, I just took it out of the refrigerator, so it may still be a little bit 
not completely defrost yet, but go ahead and try to separate them. Okay, we just figure out the vegetable that Matthew was referring to is celery. It took too long. Yes, so celery, you're right, would work in a soup. Carrot and celery go well. We don't have celery in the house, so um, we're using uh, mushroom. But this soup is, is, you know, it's a comfort soup, and I remember um, when I was growing up, my mom always made this. But she would make it with ground beef um, instead of ground pork. I have ground pork at home, so that's what we're using. So when you're... Um, what other meats do you use? You can use chicken. Um, so uh, 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 ground pork and ground uh, beef normally come in a pound. So buy it uh, when you get uh, purchase a pound. When you get home, just cut it into four pieces. Um, and wrap it and stick it in the freezer so that way you have just a little bit of it to make soup. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go ahead and salt and pepper. Um, you salt and pepper the, the vegetable. Now you want to salt and pepper the, uh, since you have the protein in there too. You want to salt and pepper as you go, season it as you go. So the heat is low, right? So let it just um, continue to soft. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to prepare the, the pasta as well as the bean, the other two ingredients to go in this soup. I normally don't, my mom never used bean, but since you like beans, so uh, we can add to it. Um, and the beans, uh, it's easily available in a can that you can just uh, purchase. So go ahead and let that, pause that, and we're going to go over to the sink. So... Take this, just strain out uh, the water, go in the... here, and then use this bowl. Just pour it all, all out, dump it all out. Now, go ahead and... And just put it in here? Yes, because you're going to need that to remove the, the pasta. Mm -hmm. For the pasta, we're using mm -hmm. elbow, so go ahead and dump that out. What I did was I soaked what? it in hot water. What am I doing? Take out the water. So what I did with the pasta was I soaked it in hot water for five minutes because I want um, the the first batch of the pasta watered um, that the pasta might be not good so so the pasta is not completely cooked yet go ahead and put the pasta back in the bowl and take the two bowl back to the um, the pot and just Pretty good. Now, now you can add the liquid into the soup. Go ahead and use that can. We're gonna add two can of water. That water right there. No, go go back here so I can see. Add two uh, can of water for the amount of the ingredient. And if you have chicken broth um, at home, go ahead and use chicken two can of chicken broth. Move it around, we'll turn the heat up high, stir it up. Is it usually better with chicken stock? Or? Yeah, it's, it's more flavorful if you're uh, using chicken uh, broth, especially if you don't have protein, make sure that you use chicken broth. Mm -hmm. Or um, what I can do is send this to you. It's, um, 
my mom uses, how do you pronounce this? Chicken. Breathe. Yes. Like so yeah. it's it's just chicken flavor. Um, so I'll I'll send you. Um, chicken flavor. Yeah. Go ahead and take that and put in a uh, one spoon of it. Wow. So basically, you're you're adding chicken powder to it, to the broth, since you're not using chicken broth. It's good. And then add in about. Uh, a tablespoon of fish sauce. And if you don't have fish sauce at home, the tablespoon's uh, like very little, right? Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you how much it is. Just do slowly. Probably that's good enough because you want to. Um, it's better not to have too much, and then you can add more later. Mm -hmm. So that needs to simmer for probably about five to 10 minutes because the pasta is not completely cooked yet, right? We just mm -hmm. soaked it in hot boiling water for five minutes and it needs to be cooked for a total of 10 minutes, so. Okay, go ahead and uh, save the white. Um, I'll use that for something else. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a spoon right there. Go ahead and taste the broth and see if it, uh, it needs any more seasoning. So, um, just a little bit, probably a teaspoon. Taste the pasta to see if it's done. Taste the pasta. Spanish done. Oh. Al dente. Oh. Al dente. Is that how you al, say it? Al dente. <laughs> and then what? Just. Uh, well, I would garnish. Uh, go ahead and get a bowl. Because you're gonna have leftover. Yeah. Um, and you don't. Want, uh, you only want to add the green as soon as you're sure. Sure. Ooh. So the way I garnish it is, uh, if you want spiciness to it, you yeah. can add. Let's see. I'll give you some stuff here. Uh, black pepper and. Black pepper and uh, red um, chili flakes. Pretty good. It's pretty good, Matthew. Mm -hmm. Good job. See, that was pretty easy, right? Yeah. And all the ingredient is is really cheap. You yeah. wanted something can I, can cheap. I eat this up?
Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like the video, hit the thumb up icon and be sure to share this video with friends and family members who may benefit from the video. Thanks again and I hope to see you back here at the next video.